What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are just going to do a laid back chill get ready with me where I show you guys kind of like my signature classic holiday look that can be done when you're running short on time, which I am right now. I need to be out the door in literally 30 minutes because I'm going to a holiday party. So we are just going to jump in and I'm going to show you guys this easy but really beautiful look. And I'm kind of going to do it more like the style that I do on TikTok and Instagram reels. I've been posting a lot of get ready with me's on there and you guys seem to to really like them where I just kind of do my makeup and chat with you. I will have all the products that I use listed down below in the description box. And it's like a little bit more informal than like my typical YouTube videos are. So let me know if you guys like this style of get ready with me. I just went in with the Makeup Forever Hydra Boost Step 1. My skin has been so dry recently. So like I need hydration to it. I don't know what's going on. It's like this hair desert over here. And I already forgot to wet my beauty blender. I'll be right back. All right, we're back in action. For our foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I have this one in shade Dune. This foundation is an oldie, but a goodie. It's been out for a while, but it is so beautiful on the skin. I just picked up a new bottle of it at Nordstrom. Actually on Black Friday, I went shopping in the malls on actual Black Friday because they had it on sale actually, because I think the original, the normal price for this is like 49, 50 bucks, but at Nordstrom, they're having like a ton of deals for Cyber Week on a bunch of beauty products actually. Actually, so I have my receipt here and it was 34.30. So nice discount on it. And it just looks so beautiful on the skin. I want to thank Nordstrom for partnering with me on today's video. But let me tell you, they have really great beauty products and they have good sales on them too. They also had a ton of different MAC lipsticks on sale. And maybe it's like nostalgic of me because when I was growing up, MAC was like the end all be all of makeup. I think I don't even think I bought makeup from like other brands at one point in my makeup stage. Like I just bought everything from MAC cause I love their stuff and their lipsticks have always been a staple favorite of mine. They have them in every single possible color you could ever need. And they had them on sale at Nordstrom. So I grabbed two honey love, which is like my everyday go-to and Ruby Woo, which is perfect for the holidays. So I'll show you guys both them when we do our lips with their stunning, but I'll link Nordstrom down below in the description box. If you guys want to check out their products, and see the different deals they have going on on a bunch of beauty products. But like this foundation, so good. Beautiful coverage, wears really nicely, and you can get it at a discount. They obviously have a ton of makeup in store, but they also have like a robust section of makeup on their website with a lot of brands that I didn't even know that Nordstrom carried. So definitely worth checking it out and seeing the different deals they have going on. All right, complexion is looking good. So we are gonna jump into my under eyes. I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Revealer Super Brightening Concealer. I've been loving this. It's like really creamy and hydrating to the under eyes, but still gives a really nice coverage. So it has definitely been my go-to with this dry skin that I've been dealing with and I've really been enjoying it. I hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and kind of like holiday weekend. Like I said, I did go Black Friday shopping and let me tell you, this might be an unpopular opinion. I posted this on my Instagram story, but the mall was packed. Me and my husband had to circle around to get a parking spot for like 10 to 15 minutes, which normally like pre like 2020, I would have been like, oh, oh my gosh, like all these people. It warms my heart so much, which probably sounds crazy. And again, unpopular opinion that that mall was packed and there was people everywhere. It just made me feel like the holiday season again from like years past. And it just was so heartwarming to me. I was like, I love that we have to ride around to find a space and that this mall is not a ghost town because I feel like in the past few years, whenever I go to the mall, it's like there's nobody in there. It just really warmed my heart to just see everybody out kind of in the holiday spirit. They had Santa in the center of the mall. I was like, oh, I love it. Just what I live for. Okay, for contour, I'm gonna jump in with the Hollywood Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. I finally was able to get this in the light medium shade which it still looks kind of dark, but it blends out so beautifully. It's always sold out. So I was never able to get it in this shade. I always had it in the medium dark shade, which was a little bit too dark on my skin tone. So I never got to experience like the love that everyone has for this product. But ever since I got it in the lighter shade, which is like really the shade that I should have gotten from the gecko, I just could never get it because it was sold out. I am obsessed. It just blends out like a dream. So especially if you're running late, like the perfect little contour to throw on because you don't have to worry about blending it too much, but it looks really nice. And for blush, I'm going to do this liquid blush from NARS. This is also so pretty. Actually, I'm going to put it on a little sponge and just dot it on my cheeks. But let me know if you guys went out shopping for Black Friday or if you just kind of stayed home and did shopping on your computer too. Like, did you guys get anything? What good deals did you find? I ordered a bunch of gifts for like family members and stuff that I was able to get some deals on. So I was happy about that, but I didn't get anything too, too crazy. So 
let me know down below what y'all got if you went shopping. Little setting powder from Makeup Forever underneath the eyes. I said that I was gonna list the products in the description, but I just can't, I can't not tell you guys what I'm using, you know what I mean? It's just like part of my routine. But I'm just happy that now that Thanksgiving is over, I can celebrate Christmas in peace because people always get mad because I always put up my Christmas stuff early and I love to listen to the Christmas music. Like as soon as November 1st comes around, in my mind, it's the holiday season. And it's not that I don't like Thanksgiving because I do. I just see Thanksgiving as like a part of the holiday season because Thanksgiving is just, a it's a day, you know, and it's a meal basically that you have with your family, which I do really love. But the holiday season is like a whole season. So, and I put a lot of work into like decorating my house and the trees and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not gonna do all that work to just have it up for one month. So I like to put it up like in early November. But people always be like, it's too early. It's not Thanksgiving yet. So now I can thrive with my holiday decor and not <laughs> have people yelling at me that it's too early. And I can blast my Christmas music in my car and not have people looking at me like I'm a crazy lady. But I just love the holidays. But I did have a very nice Thanksgiving this year. We actually hosted our family here, which was really nice. And we had a really nice meal. We did have a little mishap though. So we got like a 20 pound turkey, which I don't know if this is a thing everywhere, but in New Jersey at our grocery store, if you spend a certain amount of money, I think it starts in like October or something. And it's not really that much if you're going grocery shopping every week, like for yourself, like you'll be able to attain the amount. Uh, you get a free turkey. So we got our turkey for free. It was like 20 pounds or whatever. And they come frozen, so you have to defrost them. So it says in the back of the turkey, I think it said two to three days to defrost it. So Thanksgiving is obviously on a Thursday. So I actually took it out of the freezer and put it in my fridge on Sunday because it was a bigger turkey. So I'm like, it's probably gonna take a little bit longer to defrost. And then come Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, she was still frozen. So that was a little bit of a fiasco. I was like, oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? I'm ruining the holiday. We're not gonna have a turkey. It's gonna be frozen, but we were able to defrost it and we did like a quick thaw thing and it worked and the turkey came out really good. So I was happy. That was our only little mishap that we had over here, but it ended up working out okay. So I was thankful for that, but lesson to be learned for me for years to come. You gotta defrost that dang thing earlier than you think. Okay, recently I have been so lazy with like doing eyeshadow, but I've been lazy with doing eyeshadow and what I've been doing is just taking whatever bronzer, like it really doesn't matter which one you guys use, but like a matte bronzer, whatever you use to contour out your face. And I put it in my crease like this, and kind of bring it up to my upper crease area. And once I disperse the product, I'll just bring it down the side of my nose to do like a nose contour. Super easy and quick way to do that. So it's kind of like contouring out your eyes and nose all at once. And then I will take whatever highlighter I'm using on my face on a tiny little brush and just put it in my inner corner to open up the eyes and add some brightness. And then right beneath my brow bone and not doing all that much else when it comes to eyeshadow. Like obviously I can do like another holiday look that's like super full glam that has like a whole eyeshadow look. We could do some glitter, like we could definitely do that. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. But when you're running late, it's not practical to like do a full glitter look and stuff like that. This one's more like the low key classic holiday version. Um, but that's kind of all I'm gonna do on the eyes. And then we're gonna go in and do liner using the It Cosmetics Superhero Liner. I'm gonna do a little winged liner. I don't know what it is about winged liner, but to me, winged liner is like a holiday must. I just feel like the classic crisp, black liner with like a red lip is classic holiday to me. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Doing winged liner while trying to talk is not an easy feat, but I think we made it work. A little bit bigger of a wing than I, I had originally planned on, but we're gonna run with it. Some days I'll do like the smallest little dainty wing and other days it's just like I am flying all the way to like Cancun or something with the size of my wing, I don't know. But they do match pretty well. So I feel like that's the most important thing. Like. At least they're symmetrical. You know what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer again and just buff that on the lower lash line. Sometimes I leave my lower lash line like completely just with nothing on it. But I think when you do a bold wing, you need a little bit of balance underneath. So I'm gonna go in with some of that down here. Then I'm gonna jump in with some mascara. I'm just gonna use the Too Faced BTS. I'm go in and coat my lashes. I do think I'm gonna pop on some falsies too, just to really still give us some eye like drama, you know, since we didn't do like any sparklies or anything. Also help me out and let me know down below what y'all are eyeing for this holiday season. Like what do you all 
want, what's on your wish list. I have a bunch of people that I gotta buy gifts for and I'm always like outside of like makeup and stuff because that's easy for me to pick out for people. You know, I know the good stuff, but outside of that, I'm always like, what do people, what should I get to people? Like, what do they want? You know, I don't know. I gotta get stuff for my husband, for my dad, for my mom, for a few of my friends. Also have some birthdays of friends in December too. So let me know what the popular gifts are this year. Like what is everyone getting? I thought I was gonna get my husband the, those AirPod Maxes or yeah, I think that's what they're called. The big Apple like headphones that you see everybody have. Um, but I kind of, we were in Best Buy the other day and then I was like, oh, those look cool. Like at them and he was like, oh yeah, but like, what's the point? And I was like, oh, yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> okay, not gonna get you that then. Back to the drawing board. I'm bad when it comes to like guy stuff because I'm so, like I just love like all girly things. So I'm like, what do men want? I don't know. Okay, as promised, adding a little lash for a little flare just in the outer corner. Just a little something. Alrighty, eyes are all done and so is our face. So all we have to do is our lips. So I'm gonna show you two options. So like I said, MAC lipsticks are on major sale at Nordstrom. These are $15 each. So I'll link them down below, but definitely a really great time to stock up. So like I said, I have it linked in the description, but the first one is MAC Honey Love. Now, this is like my all-time favorite lipstick from MAC. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Really great for like an everyday. Like if you're not following this tutorial for like a holiday party and it's just like a party or something, perfect lipstick. It's just the perfect like mauve nude pink in my opinion. It's a matte formula, so it's gonna last on your lips all day, but it's not gonna move around. So I love this, but for a holiday party, I have to do a classic red that's just what my heart longs for. So I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna use MAC Ruby Woo, which is my personal favorite red from MAC. They have a ton of different ones though. So I can link a couple more down below that are really beautiful. This one has just always been my favorite from them. It's also in a matte formula because with reds, you don't want it moving all over your lips, you know, and smearing on your face because you'll see it a lot more than you would see like a nude. So I'm gonna line my lips first with the red lip liner and then I'll go in with Ruby Woo on my lip. I feel like the perfect holiday classic red. Not too light, not too dark. And I feel like it really complements a more subdued eye like we did today. And that is it, you guys. My easy go-to holiday look. And I am actually on time. So I am not late and already. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know down below if you guys wanna see more Get Ready With Me styles like this, where it's just more chilled, laid back, chatting with each other. I can definitely do that. So I'll have everything linked down below. Definitely check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.